there's been more discussion from analytics people and beyond this digital empathy being extended to Josh Allen. He's the sad case of this playoff season. And it happens every single year. The cry that this guy deserves better. Why do we have to spoil the fun that is football and specifically the football playoffs? And if we're going to, then let's just cancel the entire postseason. The sample sizes are too small. And as a result, they threaten the measures of who the best players and teams actually are per the advanced analytics. Let's cancel January and round about like midnight on New Year's Eve. We'll just go around. We'll gather our, our, our devices. When that ball's dropping in New York, we'll all open our devices and it will present to us the DVOA champ. And there we all celebrate that team's success. And then we have a lot of extra time to focus in on the third act of Die Hard and make the case why, oh, well, Hodge Gruber deserves better here because he has the advantage in terms of numbers and firepower. And he's got a lot. Maybe that's what we should be doing with ourselves. This is the world that the analytics people want you to live in. DVOA matters more than the result. It's not fair that that one play, if it goes the other way, then that team wins. Yeah, that's why it's electric stuff. You're trying to turn it into a math equation. I want it to remain the high drama, the unmatched high drama of the greatest reality show in the history of people. Get out of the way, you analytics people. Stop ruining our fun. Analytics can't measure that part where you're like, Brady's down 10 to the Seahawks. In the Super Bowl, there's no way out of this against the Legion of Boom. I just looked at the analytics. This game's over. It's like, Brady doesn't think it's over. Watch this. When the stakes are raised, pressure goes up. And that's the difference in these playoffs. And the ignorance of that is, I don't understand. Is it to be right? If those were the correct answer to everything about football, then why can't they provide us who's going to win every game? Shouldn't they be hitting it at, at an 80%, nay, 90%? No, no, they should be 100%. In fact, you know who they keep up with? Dumb Dave Damashek. That's about their hit rate, and picking football games is the same as mine. So the idea that it has all the answers is debunked by that uh, ridiculous fact. Maybe we should market and sell Brady Lemieux. Brady Lemieux as, a, as an app. Because that guy's a machine. Mm, he is very good.